Hello, today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 8. So I've just put in the disk and started it. This is what's come up. A nice looking purple screen. So here we go. It asks us this stuff, you just choose your language. Keyboard settings, usually keyboard US if you're English. Otherwise whatever else. You know what country you're in. Now we're going to go install now. And the setup is starting. Alright, so now it asks you for your product key. I'm going to put in the product key. There's also this other thing next to the product key where you can click on it. So if you're using a touch screen, you can type the product key in yourself. If that's what you want to do. And that's right, see, there it is. So you just that's my product key, I gotta get rid of that. You won't be able to see that by the time I'm finished. Yep, so we wanna update all or upgrade. If you have one already installed a Windows 7, you'd upgrade, which I didn't. This is a fresh install. So I just use that. I'm gonna skip a bit here too, so it doesn't, you know, take ages to load. But yeah, so um you upgrade if you already have Windows 7 installed and you wanted to upgrade, obviously. If not, you go there. You pick your partition you want it on and install. Yeah, so now it just does its little thing all by itself. It's pretty good. But yeah, it does take a while. Not too long, like it only takes, you know, 15 minutes. But yeah, I'll cut a bit out of it for you. So you don't have to see all of it crappy loading up. And it's just installing its updates, which because it's only just come out, it doesn't have many updates, you see. Yeah, I'll click restart now because I don't like to wait, to be honest. Now it'll just do its little thing. So yeah, most of it's pretty automated, it does it itself, it's pretty simple really. You should just be able to follow it. So now it's just getting your devices ready. Doesn't take too long. But yeah, within half an hour your operating sh system should be installed, up and running and ready to go. It only took me about, I don't know, 15 minutes to install it and get it going. Which isn't too bad. Especially considering it's off a CD that I installed it off. I didn't install it through the network. If it was through the network, it would be even quicker. Which I don't have the server set up for Windows 8 yet. The WDS server, which is Windows Deployment Systems, if you didn't know. As you can tell, I'm installing this on a virtual PC because this is me testing it out. But installing it on a normal PC is the same, virtual, normal, it's all the same installation process. I use VMware. Now it gives you these options, so you get to pick your colour scheme, I guess you'd call it. So you just pick whatever you want it. There's a lot of different options, here's a few. So basically you can change this later on, 
So it doesn't really matter what you pick. Like, you're not going to be stuck with it forever. So you can just, you know, have a look through and what they look like. Then give your PC a name. Your computer or your tablet, I guess. Since you can install it on just about anything now. You just give it a name, whatever you want to call it. Click Next. Now you can click Express Settings, which is easy. I just click Express Settings usually, but I'll show you how to customise it. So, do you want to sh turn on sharing to connected devices? Which I do. How often do you want to update? If you want to keep your privacy, which I don't really care. I don't like smart screen and all that kind of stuff, so I'm turning them off. Then, do you want to send your information to Microsoft? Which I don't, because it uses bandwidth, and that annoys me. So do you want to share your info with your apps? Yes, you do, because otherwise they're not going to know where you are and all that kind of stuff. But if you want privacy, I guess you don't. Yeah, and then you just need to put in your email address. Or oh, it doesn't have to be a Microsoft one, but it'll just make an account for you. So now it's just checking for the account details and seeing how to do it. Yep, and see it already knows that I've got a password for my Windows Live account. And I put in the password. Bob's my uncle. Put in your personal details if, if you want to, if you don't want to. That's just to get your account restored if you want it. Now it gives you a little video. The video is fun. Check out the new ways to use Windows. Look at this. You can swipe it. You can do anything. Yeah, this is just their little thing to, you know, try and keep you interested while you're installing. Which, honestly, there's no point even watching it. Well, there is, I guess, but if you didn't know how to use it, you probably wouldn't be installing it. I don't know, but we'll see. I guess everybody can use it. So, so it gives you a couple of little hints how to use it. That's how you get the little menu up. Tells you your programs are on the left. Or oh, does it? I oh, don't know. Any corner. That. Any corner you want. It's a grouse little video. Swipe in from any edge. And there's your menu. Aren't you lucky? After a while, it gives you this little installing apps and getting your computer, you know. I skipped most of that for you. And there you go. Now you have Windows 8. Look at it. With its new interface. All of it. The start menu. Desktop out of the menu. Just press the Windows button to get to it. Or press the Windows button to get back to this. Isn't that nice? There you go. Alright. Talk to you later. Have fun. Hope this was helpful. Goodbye.